Hey, 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 everybody. It is your girl, Miss Motivational Mogul Mindset, Ava Sheree, the Inspire. I am in the process of juggling things, and I wanted to just come and share that as I'm moving around day to day, um, I found that my body kind of gives me a stamp of approval to go forth. And I also find that my body is going one direction and I'm going another. And um, sometimes we have to come back around and circumvent and meet in the middle and say, hey, what's going on body? What's going on mind? What's going on heart? What's going on my feelings, my physical? Um, sometimes things come out of the blue and uh, they definitely stun you. They definitely can take you by surprise. They're definitely an inconvenience if it's something that's debilitating or it stops you or slows you down. So I've gotten great at multitasking, basically. So if if I have a sinus infection or if my migraines and things are taking me out of one aspect of actually talking to people because I don't feel like I'm being on the phone or counseling or coaching, I'll do things that um, silence the noise of the world. So I'll go to my voiceovers. Um, I'm doing a lot of auditions. I'm doing a lot of voiceover work. I'm doing a lot of script work. So I would use my voice. Um, if it's my sinuses and that prohibits me and prevents me from doing voiceover work, I go to something that's gonna keep me quiet. So I may um, write, I start writing. I just start journaling, I do my quotes. If God gives me a word, I will do the vlogs if I can use my voice for that, since that's my own option to do that. And it's not a professional gig. Um, I write a lot, I write every day. So if, if, that's, if that's that, I go to that. If it's a migraine and it's flat line, I have to lay down. Um, I ask God to restore me as he's um, downloading into me and restore me at the same time and renewing me and flushing some things out, getting toxicity out of my body and my brain and my mental thought storage unit, as I would say, um, because we store a lot of things that we don't even know we store. Uh, I ask God to also send me help, send somebody who's mindful, who's compassionate, who is unselfish who is selfless, who is able to lay eyes on someone and be like, you know what, let me yield because they're not their, their self. Um, I also pray every day that my loved ones and my friends and associates and acquaintances and uh, partners who I go into partnership with understand that sometimes immobility is beyond your control. And because I know I came into this world with a disability, that said I would never walk and I never had a surgery and I'm walking and I'm running and I'm leaping by leaps and bounds. I, I don't take it for granted that as we get older, our body tries to regress. So I believe in the miracle power of healing. I believe in restoration. I believe in God's hand in all of that. So sometimes I just pray daily for my loved ones to understand if there's a, a sense of forgetfulness, if there's some sense of stagnation, if there's some sense of distance because when these things arise, you have to go along with the flow of them. You have to learn how to work around them so they won't pile up and become too much for you to live with, I should say. So if I've been distant, if I haven't answered calls, if I haven't responded to texts, that is leisure. It's because I'm putting my energy into Ava Sheree, which is um, content creating, blogging, auditions, scripted TV. It's all these things that God has promised me, ministry. Uh, I'll try to post a thing here and there, but literally things come up on a day-to-day -day basis and we all have them, as well as moving around. You might be relocating. I know I'm relo I'm speaking the relocation. I'm speaking things into existence. I'm in my home studio. I'm redoing it. So, you know, I just say to you where there is a drought or where you feel yourself being stretched or where you feel yourself um, not being able to do your best in the area that you usually are. Learn how to go to the next area. Just don't be stagnant. Even though it hurts us, even though you might get sad, um, be around trusted people that know that, hey, just because you can't do this over here, let's take care of this, you know, and be cheerful. Turn on some good music, dance, um, laugh. Um, I have chronic migraines, but what eases my pain is to get my focus off of the migraine and get my focus on living through it. Life, dancing, putting headphones on. People always say, well, don't noise bother you. Don't the light bother you and you're a vlogger or you have to listen to your own voice and don't that bother you? Yes, it all bothers me, but I know how much I can take. And that's, that's just knowing your limits. Knowing your limits, knowing when you gotta lay down. And sometimes I'm very stubborn towards it. And my husband or my family have to tell me, hey, enough is enough. Quit scrolling at night to apply for those additions. Quit responding to those emails in the middle of the night. Quit writing um, a new book or a new portion of a script in the middle of the night. 
quit getting dressed at 3 a.m. and putting on a, a, a nice blouse to do a video audition. Like I do all these things. Quit doing your hair at 5 a.m. so you can get up at 7 and do this audition or have these deadlines met. That is my life for 24 hours. Um, I believe faith, faith without works is dead, but you're learning how to maneuver around what's going on in your life that's saying stop. Um, you're learning how to work and keep moving forward instead of being sad and depressed. And you're also carving a lane for yourself and doing it in spite of what it looks like and what it says, and it's building your faith. So I just wanted to come and give you a pickup um, and just let you know that, yes, we all know life happens, but as long as you don't let life happen to you and you miss everything, all right? Headphones on, just I'm doing edits and nine different voiceovers for one script and then the editing of the script in audio. I do those things. So yeah, it's it's heavy and, and that's what I know how to do. I know how to do it well, so I'm not gonna miss it. You understand? I'm gonna keep it moving. Um, I also have to look to part when I do my video auditions. I have to look to part when I do coaching. I have to look to part when I answer a call or join a Zoom or join a conference. And hey, it's multitasking at its finest. And these last few days have been very tough health-wise. So just wanted to let you know that you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. I want you to also know that you are building your faith by multitasking around a situation that is telling you to lay down and be depressed and cry and balled up in the corner. Nope, get up and fight. So. Until next time, this is your girl, Miss Motivational Mobile Mindset, Ava Sheree, the Inspire. God's love and God's peace and God's health to you and healing, all right? And restoration, amen? Renewal, okay? All right, talk to y'all soon. Bye.